Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from a developer working with Spring Security. They have a web application secured with Spring Security and are looking to implement different login pages for their web and REST interfaces. Let's dive into the details of their setup and the challenge they're facing. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. To address the issue of having different login pages for your web application and REST API, we need to ensure that the security configurations are set up correctly. Let's start by reviewing your existing configurations. In your security configuration class, you have defined a login page for the web application. However, for the REST API, you want to use a different login page located at slash APLogin. This is defined in your grant credentials configuration class. The problem arises because the request to slash OAuth slash authorize is being handled by the main security chain which redirects to the default login page instead of your specified slash apologen. To fix this, we need to ensure that the request is properly routed to the correct login page. To resolve this, you can customize the authentication entry point for your resource server. This will allow you to specify that requests to OAuth slash authorize should redirect to your slash apologen page instead. Finally, make sure to test your configuration. After implementing the changes, try accessing the REST API again and verify that the login page redirects correctly to slash iLogin. This should resolve the issue and provide a seamless login experience for your mobile app users. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue arises from not specifying the order of your security configuration classes in Spring. It's important to define the order from specific to generic. The security configuration class is more generic and protects all resources while Grant Credentials configuration is specific to the API OAuth paths. Without defined order, the generic configuration can overshadow the specific one. To fix this, you need to set the order correctly. Remember, both login pages share the same security context. Logging in on one page won't redirect you to the other page if you try to access its resources. For a practical example, check out the sample project on GitHub. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To enable a different login for your web and REST applications, try adding the URL path apilogen to your permit list. This way it won't redirect to the common authentication page. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe.
Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.